Okay. I will attempt to uh, form a kind of theory of a coffee. I am a no way of an expert in coffee. I'm just kind of middle of the day, got tired of filming physics videos, trying to maybe formulate a theory of coffee. So there's a different, there's a series of parameters of a, of a, of a coffee, coffee making, making process. So the filter, like what type of filter you have, you have no filter, for instance, like Turkish coffee, there's no filter. Uh, like there is a, a paper filter, for instance, pour, pour over a drip, a drip coffee, it's paper filter, and uh, and then and the maybe a, a metal mesh is like for instance espresso, French press, uh, stuff like that. You you so so the of course the paper filter for chemistry you 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 were expecting to have a, a homogeneous solution, and uh, and on the other and on the other hand the the, the mesh will be some fine particles and uh, and uh, of course uh, the, the Turkish coffee will give you some fine particles as well. Uh, the roastness basically the the ro roasting roasting process of a coffee you can think it as a, uh, as basically ex de dehydrate the, the coffee bean make it from green to, to like a charcoal looking thing. So, so it dehydrated, it, it expressed certain sh certain chemicals. I, I'm not a, chem a chemist, so I don't, I don't, I cannot say too much about that. But it does express certain oil. If you as you as you as you roast this for longer, then it express more oil, and it caramelized, uh, caramelized the sugar, so it gave you a caramel caramel taste in a way, I think. But it stronger. It, the longer you roast it, the darker it gets. The like for me, the less characteristic you can get from it. That's that's my that's my opinion. Of course, I'm no expert. That's again as I said. So the size of the particle, based on the grind, that the, the particle, the, 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 the coarser the grind is, the the, the 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 bigger the particle it is. So for me, I find it's the the. The smaller the part, the smaller the particle is, is they, they tend to be more bitter. I think it makes sense because if you make if you make the particle smaller, the reaction rate will be faster. Just like you know, basic chemistry. If you if you burn a powder of, of certain certain solid solid fuel co compared to burn the burn the um, burn the solid, the whole cube of the fuel, the, the, the powder will burn much much faster. Because it would have a more chance of contact with the with the solution. The bro the brewing method you can just basically think is a pot. I mean, if you in an experiment setting, you basically basically you're dissolving di dissolving coffee in, in in water. I mean, I mean the, 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 the coffee. There's nothing more more than that. It just Dissolving coffee, dissolving coffee, coffee ground into water with a certain temperature, certain pressure. As I will, I will talk about. So the so the temperature, so the temperature will, well, I think the low temperature will make it a little bit more fruity characteristic, and the the, the higher temperature will make it a little bit more charred. Because in a way that high temperature, high temperature uh, will make well, in a way, sort of roast the coffee. And the pressure, of course, if you have higher pressure, you, you, you're expecting a, 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 strong, a stronger coffee. For lower pressure, you will have relatively weaker coffee. That's like a, the analogy in terms of uh, real life. Um, you can think of uh, Uh, pressure cooker or or or, uh, or uh, squeezing something. If you squeeze really hard, something will come out of the particle. Come out of the, if you squeeze the two spaces, two spaces will come out fast. If you have harder pressure, have, uh, have high.
higher pressure. And the concrete water ratio, of course, uh, pretty much in terms of in terms of experiment, if you if you put more solid, uh, put more more. Uh, if you put more salt into water, it will, the, the water will taste more salty compared to less salt. So the ratio pretty much just determines how strong, how weak it is. But also, also keep in mind for some for some method, it will it, it will it will kind of change the pressure and rolls because. Basically, if you let, let coffee stuck in the bottom or stuck in some place, because some brewing method does does not guarantee the homogeneity homogeneity of the of the of the brewing method, or pretty much the, it's, it's not even the, the coffee powder is not evenly distributed. So, so as, again, as I said, the overview of that is basically. We have uh, we we scientifically speaking, we pretty much uh, put coffee powder with a, maybe different rows, different different size of the particle to uh, to water with a certain pressure, certain temperature, and uh, and uh, you add certain amount of the, the coffee ground, and then you you filter it out to let the let the let the coffee ground stay away from from the from the the, the, the final solution. I mean, of course, there are some fine particles will be left left in the the, the solution, so it's not a, like a pure solution. So it will create a certain inhomogeneity if you don't use a paper uh, paper filter. Say, so there's a certain like really common method that I listed out. For, for instance, pour over, you can think of Chemex, drip, drip coffee, uh, V something, we talk, we talk. Well, I forgot the name. Yeah, there is like, uh, I, I think it's a, it's a good idea to have that because it, it create, a, create, compared to Chemex, to the V16, 12, something, I forgot the name, name. but it, it, it created an air, airway to let, to let, to not let the, the Chemex Kind of in, the, in the other hand, the chemists give basically per, create a seal. Then the then the water will the high pressure, the high temperature water will stop. That means that means you you, you basically roast the coffee f to further to, to more to more to make it more roasted. So it will taste bitter or or charred to more than your like because I like medium coffee most of the time. Uh, so pour over will, if you use a, a paper filter, it will give you a homogeneous solution. And uh, but the, the, if you have a metal mesh, the, the permanent filter, then they will give you some fine fine particles, of course. And uh, the French press will give you a relatively strong coffee. And uh, and, uh, and interestingly enough. You, you not necessarily like for me. I, I find this very, very fleeting for me because I like my coffee very creamy. So I don't use a, don't don't use water to brew using the French press. I just use milk to brew it, so it tastes very creamy. I like it, and the French press can also make can aerate the, the the milk to make latte. I will talk about it in another video maybe. The espresso will produce. It will use a, a high temperature, high pressure steam to go over very fine particles. So, so that means it will have a very, very, very strong, and it actually could potentially roast the coffee in a way. So it will pr pr provide strong, strong, uh, very strong uh, solution. And cold brew, it uses a low temperature. And the large particles, so it will preserve the taste, the, the the coffee taste itself, but it won't be as strong. Uh, but it, it, sometimes it it, it gives uh, it has a chance that have a, a high pressure scenario, so it could be strong in a way, and it preserves the temperature. Thus, it will be ideal. Sometimes you know the, the Starbucks have a natural, nat, natural, natural. 
basically use a high high pressure nitrogen to push through water to the to the to the coffee. So that will create a relatively strong coffee, but have a fruity like characteristic of the coffee. That's what I actually like, but it's kind of expensive. Um, so yeah, this is like my my theory of coffee so far. Uh, yeah.